First of all, let's say the U.S. dollar has lost 85% of its value since the 70s. And when the dollar decoupled from gold, and the government seems bent on continuing that tradition. From now until after the election, the government can print as much money as they want. The last time they did that, inflation went up 9%. Gold is the one asset that is proven to withstand inflation. It's a biblical currency, 5,000 years. You can invest in gold with noblegoldinvestment.com. That's www.noblegoldinvestment.com. And if you it, you will also get this 24 carat, uh, one quarter of an ounce gold standard coin for free. A 24 carat, one quarter of an ounce gold standard coin they will send you for free. Simply go to noblegoldinvestment.com now. Noblegoldinvestments.com. Go there now. The only gold company that we can trust. Guys, set up a gold IRA. Find out all about it at noblegoldinvestment.com. In response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, U.S. President Joe Biden has given authorization for the United States military leaders to deploy up to 3,000 reservists to Europe. The purpose of this order is to reinforce the presence of U.S. troops already stationed overseas as part of Operation Atlantic Resolve, as stated in the White House statement released after the President's recent five-day trip to Europe, which included attendance at a two-day NATO summit in Lithuania. Citing his authority as President under the Constitution and U.S. laws, President Biden emphasized the necessity of augmenting the active armed forces of the United States for the effective execution of Operation Atlantic Resolve within the area of responsibility of the United States European Command. The President, who is aged 80, issued this statement the New York Post has reported. According to the order, a maximum of 3,000 reservists may be activated at any given time with no more than 450 of them being members of the individual ready reserve. The individual ready reserve is comprised of trained soldiers who have previously served in the active army or selective reserve. Operation Atlantic Resolve was launched back in 2014 following Russia's invasion of the Crimean Peninsula. Its objective is to strengthen the deterrence capabilities along the eastern flank of NATO allies in the United States. Tragically, Vermont has reported its first known fatality from the devastating flooding that occurred this week. A 63-year-old man from Bear, Vermont, named Stephen Duvall, lost his life in a drowning incident, marking a somber outcome of the catastrophic floods. State officials continue to emphasize the importance of remaining cautious and vigilant, even as the floodwaters recede, Yahoo News reported. According to the Vermont Emergency Management Agency, Duvall passed away on Wednesday due to a, quote, drowning accident near Montepillar, the capital city, heavily impacted by the flooding. Beverly Frost, Duvall's wife of two decades, shared with Yahoo News that they had cut their vacation short upon hearing about the flooding and returned home around 3.30 a.m., finding their basement flooded. Duvall immediately began working on the sub pump to address the flooding. After resting upstairs for a few hours, he went back downstairs, as Frost recounted. When she woke up, she couldn't locate him and began searching the house anxiously. To her horror, she discovered him face down in the water in the hole surrounding the sub pump. She was unable to pull him out, and the situation was deeply distressing. Frost revealed that the medical examiner suggested Duvall may have suffered a head injury and became trapped in what was described to her as a, quote, freak accident. Duvall is survived by his wife, four sisters, two brothers, a daughter, two stepsons, and several grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Frost fondly described him as a beloved individual, cherished, and by everyone around him. A Long Island architect has been indicted for murder in connection with three of the 11 victims in the notorious Gilgo Beach murders, 
which have remained unsolved for a significant period of time. The breakthrough in the case occurred when investigators pursuing a new lead discovered that the DNA from a pizza that was consumed by the suspect matched genetic material that was found on the remains of the women. The accused individual, Rex Hewerman, has resided near the location where the remains were discovered for many years. He is now facing charges for the killing of Melissa Bartholomew, Megan Waterman, and Amber Costello, as reported by the Associated Press. Additionally, authorities consider him the primary suspect in the murder of another woman whose body was also found concealed and bound in dense vegetation along a remote beach highway. Hewerman, who is aged 59, was apprehended on Thursday as part of a reinvigorated investigation that connected him to a pickup truck reported by a witness during one of the victim's disappearances back in 2010. In March, investigators covertly followed Hewerman and obtained his DNA from a discarded pizza crust found in a trash can in Manhattan. This DNA sample was then matched to DNA extracted from a hair that was discovered on a restraint used in the commission of the killings.